The following video is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. is an age of electronic miracles, but not all of them deal with the conquest of outer space. Equally dramatic and significant are the many electronic systems designed to accomplish faster and better than we ever thought possible many of the tasks that fill our daily lives. One example is a new way of handling bank bookkeeping so advanced it is almost unbelievable. many centuries, bank bookkeeping was no faster than the speed of a clerk performing all of the many necessary operations by hand. The first revolution in bank record keeping occurred about the time of World War I, when bookkeeping machines were introduced. Since that time, these machines have remained virtually unchanged. Forty years ago, bookkeeping machines ranked as a significant improvement. Today, they are as obsolete as quill pens. You see, the banking industry has been losing ground to a tremendous mountain of paperwork. The primary reason, of course, has been the increasing use of checks rather than cash in financial transactions. The number of checks being written this year is more than four times the total of only 15 years ago. What's more, the number of checks will double in the next 10 years. Obviously, new and improved methods must be adopted by America's banks to supplement existing bookkeeping machine operations. Merchandise National Bank is proud to be among the first in the nation to install an electronic computer, a General Electric 210 system that can actually read the same information you and I can read. This entirely new concept marks the second revolution in banking. Components in our system include the reader sorter, a high-speed printer, the magnetic tape units, the central processor, and the control console so that our electronic marbles can go to work with incredible speed and infinite accuracy we must prepare checks and deposit tickets for entry into the system on each of our customers checks and deposit tickets appears a line of symbols printed in magnetic ink what is magnetic ink it's regular printer's ink with tiny iron oxide particles added and while magnetic ink looks and feels no different to us it enables our computer system to read information faster and more accurately than any human. Each group of figures tells the computer something different. This group says that the check is drawn on Merchandise National. This group identifies the check as belonging to Sally Marshall. How do these numbers get on the check? When Sally Marshall or any other customer places an order for personalized checks, this automatic electric typewriter prepares a paper mat from a permanent punched card containing all of the necessary information on the customer's account. The mat is put on an offset printing press using magnetic ink and off come the printed checks. To make sure that we've added just the right amount of iron oxide particles to the line of symbols on Sally's checks and deposit tickets, we test samples on this signal strength machine. The gauge assures us that the computer system will be able to read the information on Sally's checks and deposit tickets. Here's a check which Sally has written. The magnetic ink symbols make no difference to Sally. She writes checks just as she always has. 
This particular check, made payable to Jones Pharmacy, is for $10. When the check is presented to Merchandise National for payment, two more items of information will be added to the line of symbols. The amount of the check, $10, and a transaction code indicating to the computer that this item is a check to be charged against Sally's account. Now let's take a closer look at each of the components in our system to learn the functions they perform. This, you'll remember, is the reader sorter. All checks and deposit tickets enter the computer system here in the loading mechanism. There's no need to separate them in advance, for the reader sorter will read, sort, and interpret information on all types and sizes of items in the same run. Remember our saying that the computer could actually read information? This is where it's done. The magnetic ink characters on each check and deposit ticket are magnetized just before passing a reading head, which interprets impulses given off by the magnetized particles. What if there's an item the computer can't read? This happens infrequently, but when it does, the item lands in a reject pocket for special handling. Looks fast, doesn't it? It is. An average of 750 items per minute is passing through the machine, accomplishing sorting 13 times faster than can be done by hand. The computer system not only reads information, it records all of the vital details on magnetic tape. These ledgers of tomorrow record and store all of the information pertaining to all of the bank's checking accounts. The tape units operate in much the same way as a home tape recorder, but of course they're much faster. Information can be recorded on or read from the tape at the rate of 30,000 characters per second. In addition to high speed, the tape units save space. We can store the detailed records on all of the bank's commercial and special checking accounts on just one reel of tape. This replaces 17,000 separate ledger cards. Is the bank's operation dependent solely upon information stored on these tapes? The answer is no. For the high-speed printer, prints records on paper for us to read in familiar words and numbers. Under direction of the computer, this machine prints all journals, reports, and other information needed by management, as well as the statements for customers. It prints 600 lines of words, or 1,200 lines of numbers per minute. Looking over the console operator's shoulder, we see the central processor, the unit that performs all of the additions, multiplications, and other arithmetic necessary in deposit accounting. The operator's console itself is the nerve center of the whole system. Here are scores of flashing lights, buttons, controls, switches, and an automatic typewriter. The operator uses the button controls and switches to tell the computer what to do. And the operator learns from the lights and automatic typewriter what the computer is doing. Now let's follow a bookkeeping run of the system to see how the units join forces to provide customers with the world's fastest, most accurate deposit accounting. Sally Marshall's check is among the many items included in our first operation, the entry run. Her check, along with a number of other checks and deposit tickets, is placed in the loading mechanism of the reader sorter. The machine will read every magnetic ink symbol on Sally's check verifying that the account number represents a valid account. The bank identification number will be checked to make certain the check is actually drawn on Merchandise National. After the check has been read and verified, the document itself is canceled and filed. But the information contained in the magnetic ink symbols continues to play an important role in the operation of our system. While the reader sorter was sorting documents, all of the important information in the magnetic ink line of Sally's check was being placed on magnetic tape for future use. What's more, the same data were printed out by the high-speed printer for immediate examination. Both the magnetic tape and high-speed printer contain information concerning Sally's check and all other documents in the same random order in which they were received by the reader sorter. Obviously, we'll need to rearrange this information by account number. 
A second run, the computer sort run, accomplishes this rearrangement at the same high speed maintained in the initial sorting and presents us with the information read from the checks and deposit tickets in numerical order. Now we're ready to do our daily posting using the transaction tape which lists checks and deposit tickets in account number order and a master file tape. This master file contains complete data on each account. In the case of Sally Marshall, the master shows Sally's account number, her present balance, service charge information, all of the daily transactions posted to her account for the month, her name and address, and miscellaneous control information. Now to do our posting, the computer will read an item of information by account number from the transaction tape, then locate that same account number on the master file tape. Let's say the item being read on the transaction tape is data on Sally Marshall's $10 check. The system will post Sally's account, the service charge information, miscellaneous information, and add this transaction to the record of previous transactions. Thus, after all of the day's transactions, Sally's and those of all other customers have been recorded. An up-to-date master file is created, which will be used in the next day's posting. After the computer posts each customer's account, the high-speed printer prepares for the bank's use a daily journal and trial balance, reflecting all of the information posted to the various accounts. This form allows us to read all of the information compiled on tape by the computer. A special tape is used to record exceptions which appear in the updating process. Included are overdrafts, closed accounts, and special statement requests. To complete daily deposit accounting involving up to 30,000 transactions will take three or four hours of computer time. Formerly, 60 man hours were required for the same operation. Now let's take a look at how the computer system handles production of customer statements. Let's take Sally Marshall's statement as a case in point. First, the computer will call into action the master file record of Sally's account. The computer will take Sally's name and address from the tape, locate Sally's opening balance, and print that information on her new statement. Next, all of the detail involving Sally's account is printed from earliest to most recent. The final bit of information to be recorded will be Sally's current balance. This is the familiar customer statement with even more detailed information than ever before. This, then, is the electronic age in banking, the reader sorter, which can sort checks 13 times faster than we were able to do by hand. The printer, which can write 86,400 characters a minute. The tape units, which can store on just one reel complete information on all accounts, replacing nearly 17,000 separate ledger cards formerly used. The central processor, where logical elements for controlling the system are stored. And the operator's console, nerve center of the entire system. Today, this magnetic ink computer system makes possible the world's fastest, most efficient banking service. Similar systems eventually will be employed by insurance companies, department stores, and utilities. In fact, wherever paperwork is a problem. But who knows? Perhaps sometime in the future, an even better method of handling paperwork may be found. Of this you can be sure. When it is, Progressive Merchandise National Bank of Chicago, ever alert to ways of serving customers better, will be among the first to adopt it.